Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Welcome, thanks for coming over today. I am working in my True Trash Transformation Journal and I'm going to be journaling in here today. And I wanted to share um, what it is I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Oh, I'm just looking for a spot here. You know, I think I'm going to finish off this page. I left it not completely covered. And I have Clark's, um, our grandson's little invitation that he wanted to give us. And I'm going to use this. I think I can break it up and cover up these pieces here. He loves Wally. And so that was how he wanted to have his invitation. And my, uh, the birthday card that I made him, I actually found a free, um, what do you call it? Free printable, a free printable, but was copyright free. So I'm going to put that up here. And this is how I journal in here in my junk journals. As I said in a previous video that, you know, it's sometimes you get stumped on what to do and how to journal. I'm going to not always be in the theme of this particular journal. I'm going to use the things that I have and what I want to journal about. It's a beautiful journal with beautiful items in it. And how I personalize it is by putting in the, um, the items that I want to talk about. So all I have left is this. And I think I'll put this right here. Yeah, while he's definitely not vintage or antique. Just doing a voiceover as an unexpected noise uh, came out on the video. But what I was saying was, here today I am sharing my journaling of my of our grandson's birthday party and um, some sports, and it's not in the theme of the journal, but it is just sharing the thoughts and adding a little bit of decoration to it. If you were journaling in a gardening journal and you wanted to keep it all in the garden theme, that's perfect. You can definitely do that. I'm just showing that we can sort of put whatever comes across our memories and put them in the book as they are. No particular theme. And it's your journal, so you can do it exactly how you want to. So this, oh yeah, this was attached to my interactive. So I have these in here now, and what a lot of space I have to journal about, which is perfect because we had a real, really fun time. We went to watch um, lacrosse, and so our son is the coach for his his son, our grandson's team, and so we did that. And then I we also the weekend before that we went to see our our daughter's son, our other grandson, play his ball hockey. So everyone's doing their sports things, and I have that picture here too. So I will enter this in here and um, what's another way I can decorate? Well, I have this scrap, this was fab scraps of fabric that I put on top of a magazine page. So I'm going to use some of this because I like the colors. And I'm going to make, I think what I'm going to do is I'll make some kind of a belly band that I can put my, I can put my, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. The picture's in there. And you can see I have stitching. So I think what I'll do is I will, um, no, 
I don't think I'll keep, I'll, I'll cut it just above the stitching. Because what I did, I have a video on this one, is I decoupaged the fabric onto the paper, onto the page. And then I just did some sewing. So on here, what I will do is I will do a seam. Let's see here. Do a line of glue on the edge of this piece. Like that. Any clip will work. This clip here. Then what I'll do is I'll put I just like the way these colors popped out and they were in a bag that I carried with me to um, when we went to visit and then this is not big enough to put a belly band but what I can do here is I can make it a tuck spot because I have more space over here so I think that's what I'll do I'll just do some glue up here. Now I'm going to let's take a look. I could put that there, but I'm what I want to do is I want to go like that. And I'm going to actually put a note in there and I can use like, several different options. I have a lot of these papers still and I'm going to use this again and so we're with Wally recycling if you knew the, if you know the movie I think what I'll do is I'll just make my note on here and do some journaling on here too like this it's very simple I don't even think I need that anymore so I'll put that over there Okay, I'm just going to do some mark making on here. Again, it doesn't go necessarily with the theme of the journal. But I like, I just like to add a few little things here and there. I'll show you this after. Again, my whole, the whole idea for me is no theme or no rhyme, no reason. I mean, I could do some more on here, but I think I like this. And um, so I can add a little bit more 
we're here today. We So because I made a mistake here, I'm going to take my white pen, use it as an as a white out. And I'm going to go around this here with a marker because he had a bouncy ca castle, which was great for the kids. And This can be like, not this one. I'm gonna try something different. Let's try this one. Just making it a square, I'm going to share that it was a bouncy. Okay, that's fine. So this is today's completed journaling session. I did a lot of writing, had a lot of space. I didn't do any writing over here, but I pulled out my little um, stencil and I just did some dots. I made a belly band here. I added Clark's invitation that he gave to us and, and just covered up the remaining um, original packaging here. Did some writing down the edge his birthday was on the 3rd, and we celebrated on the 4th, on the on the Saturday. And I took some pictures at his lacrosse game, and I just cut them out. And his daddy, our son, is his coach. And so I just sewed them together in the corner so I can put that here. And then on this little spot, I also took a picture of our daughter with our, our grandson at his ball hockey game. And I wanted to put that over here to have that memory. And then I just sewed it on this piece of paper and I wrote, I did my journaling like that. And then I'm just using this as a tuck spot. And so that is how I used this particular um, page, this spread, added some, you know, modern things my own memories and then that one is complete and then I don't know what's going to happen on the next one but stay tuned everyone I'll just share with you also that I've also I've started to journal in some spots here at the front and if I was to untie this I actually did some journaling here We'll see how how the other pages turn out with the journaling. I'm very appreciative. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming along. Stay adventurous and be fresh. See you really soon. Bye.